welcome to Substation 33, where we'll teach you to take this and turn it into a 3D printer. Let's get started. Today we're going to um, increase the amount of heat on the heat bed. So this is a common problem with 3D printers where you find that the heat beds just struggle to get up to temperature, 115 if you're running ABS. So what we're going to do is actually put a MOSFET in parallel with the existing heat bed MOSFET that's on the ramps. So we're going to grab a IRF3205, which is a fairly common and really cheap MOSFET. It's actually it's got double the current rating of the existing MOSFET, and also it's half the RDS on resistance. So basically, it can you know it can handle double the current. So what that means is. This MOSFET usually, when, you, when you're heating your heat bed, gets quite hot um, and it's dropping, a, it's dropping a fair amount of voltage. And what that means is that voltage is actually um, dropping across here and it's not getting dropped across the heat bed, which means it's getting le the heat bed's getting less power. So you're actually wasting uh, some of the voltage on this MOSFET and increasing the, the resistance of that circuit. So putting that MOSFET in parallel and also doubling up the heat bed wiring, which I'll show you later on, um, will actually gain you about, we've found about 10%, which doesn't sound like much, but it makes a huge difference in getting to 115 degrees. It gets there in nearly half the time. And also when you're running it in a colder room, it gets to temperature easily, where it sometimes doesn't if you don't have this mod. So it's a really good mod just to get your, get your heat bed really hot. Um, so first we're going to grab, I'm going to turn the soldering iron on, on just to get that heated up. And we're going to actually pull the ramps board off the mega. I'm just going to flip it around so we can access the back of it. Because we're actually going to put the MOSFET underneath. There's actually a space underneath where we can easily put it. So we don't actually desolder that. We run the, the new MOSFET in parallel which actually gives us three times the current um, capability. Just going to flip this over. Okay, we're going to grab our MOSFET. And we're going to bend its legs. So we're actually going to end up soldering it, soldering it in position like this. So we're going to bend the legs just so it sits. So the legs actually end up just sitting on top there. So we're just going to grab some long nose pliers and we're just going to bend the legs this way. So you can see the orientation of bending there. So don't bend it the wrong way, otherwise you'll end up putting it, uh, putting it in backwards, which would be bad. Then we're going to give it probably about, it's probably about five or six mils of leg length and we're just going to flip those legs back again so we end up with a little step in there and then we're going to trim those legs down so grab your side cutters trim them to about three mils and then we're going to grab a soldering on and put that MOSFET down I'm going to put some uh, I'm just going to tin up the legs on the board So we're just going to put some solder on these legs. So just, just a couple of decent blobs of solder. And also probably just a good idea to tin up the legs on the MOSFET oh, yeah. as well. So just to make sure the solder takes to them nicely. Put a bit of extra solder and flux on there. And then we're going to solder that onto the board. So I'm just going to put a little bit of extra solder on there to make sure it's... Okay. 
So if I flip the board over, you can see that that MOSFET is in parallel with the existing one in the board. So it's like putting batteries in parallel. You're going to increase the current. So let's bend that. So bend it sort of straight and also so now we're going to fit this back onto the mega so we're just going to line up the bottom pins it's the easiest way I've found to get it on and slide it on and we're just going to also just check the MOSFET doesn't contact anything on the mega so once it's on we'll just check it So you can see the MOSFET in here. It's beautiful. So here we have the, the additional wire as well on the heat bed. So usually we just use one 10 amp wire, one brown wire which is your 12 volt and one blue wire which is your 0 volts. So we've actually doubled it up. So now we've got 20 amps on each, you know, on the plus and minus. So we're running the blue wires and you can see it going all the way down our cable management. To our heat bed, and we just run them in parallel. So two wires soldered onto the heat bed as well, and that drops. That that also assists in reducing the voltage drop and increasing the the current and power to the heat bed to give us our ten percent extra gain. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.